Reg, thanks. Frustration tonight over a plan to widen part of I-85 in Cabarrus County. Hundreds of homeowners and businesses may lose their property. They know they don't have a choice, but they want to make sure they're fairly compensated. WCCB Charlotte's Courtney Francisco is live in the newsroom tonight with more. Courtney? Morgan, I spoke to homeowners, businesses, attorneys, all watching this widening project closely. People who've built their lives around there are worried. They show me what they are expecting to lose. More space on Interstate 85, less space for homeowners means certain controversy. It's not like you can really tell them no. Sam Havala is just one of the more than 200 property owners who expect to lose land when the State Department of Transportation starts widening 85 this spring from exit 55 in Concord to exit 63 in Kannapolis. Really Some maps show the DOT sound barrier would go in the middle of his pool. It would completely decimate, you know, the, the value of the property. It's not just homeowners that would be affected by this, but business owners as construction crews block off roads and create detours that could cause a headache for customers trying to get in. It's going to be very bleak. It's just going to be bad. Vamil Hardiv has owned the America's Best Value Inn in Concord for 25 years. He expects business to be off by 20% during construction. They shut us down. That means three or four employees that I have to let go. And you know they're de they're depending on me, so it's it's a domino effect. Attorney Jason Campbell spoke to their concerns Thursday. The Department of Transportation has the right to take the property, and they have a right to take it when they want. Okay, but you, as a property owner, have the right to get a jury to decide how much you're paid. He's worked for the DOT, and now he works for property owners who have to give up their land. I just don't see how. The, the state would be able to compensate for that. DOT surveyors are marking land. Engineers talking to owners now. The DOT says the displacement of homes and businesses is minimized to the extent practical. To learn more about the process, go to our website and click on the link to this report. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Francisco, WCCB News.